This is my second attempt to open a new Lamy 2000 Special Edition Black Amber Medium Gold Nib. The first one came in the box and it was not secured properly. And it got loose in transit. The pen and the cap were separated and the nib was really bent. Well, they sent me a replacement, and sad to say, I just, like, two minutes ago, opened up the box again to see, and guess what I found? The same situation, pen, cap, I mean, they're, they weren't even underneath the cloth, which was laying over here. Um, the nib doesn't seem to be as badly damaged, but it also doesn't, no, it's not focusing right. Um, I'm having a hard time believing that a gold nib was able to travel the way that it did and be, you know, separated from its cap in transit and not be damaged. I mean, gold is soft, that's why it's desirable. Um, so I have no idea how this thing will write. Um, I guess I got a free Lamy ink out of it because I didn't ship the other one back because I had, I had opened it. Um, and I asked them and they said if it looked like it was going to leak at all, then don't bother sending it back. So I didn't. Um, but this is what it's supposed to secure. <laughs> um, and I don't know if... It's just because the cap is too loose, um, or what, but I don't, I don't understand what they're doing. I, I don't know why they have not figured out how to ship their own pen without it completely coming apart, you know, and it, all I can think is they're not even trying because... I don't know. The physics of it are mind-boggling to me right now. Um, I just don't understand. <laughs> and I, I ordered this from Lama USA. They had a deal going on because, which is actually Filofax is the actual company. Blue line, ready form. Um, Yeah, Ready Form, Filofax, Let's, I guess that's all the same company. But they are no longer going to be the Lamy distributor, which is what they told me on the phone. So, I mean, I don't... I wouldn't think that the factory workers would care as much. I mean, the packing people, um, you know, I don't think they want to lose their current company money just to spite Lamy by sending out pens the wrong way. That wouldn't really make a whole lot of sense, but this is just unacceptable. And if this is any indication um, of what they've been doing, I'm not surprised Lamy dropped them as the distributor because this is unacceptable. Now it was through the Lamy USA website, but until the transition's over, I guess, from my understand, Filofax is that that's they're the ones fulfilling those orders currently, but they're stopping, which is why they were having sales in great reduction. Because I would not have bought this at its original price. Um, it was highly reduced at the time. I think they've since removed that, but um, it's just unacceptable and quite disturbing that they would do it twice and. They assured me that they told their packing people to take extra care this time. Well, they need to contact Goulet Pen, who, as you all know, probably, well, most of you probably know, um, pack their stuff with a ridiculous, a slightly ridiculous amount of care. Well, this is definitely a slightly ridiculous lack of care. Um, that's not the same thing. Other than that, um, 
I wish I could say I'm excited to try this out, but instead I'm just going, am I going to have to resend another one back? Um, anyway, I'll let you guys know later what I think of the actual pen. Um, until then, take care.